In this video, I'm going to be adding a few more components to my power inverter build. I'm going to add a couple external lights. I'm going to add a switch for those lights, a fuse box for any DC components, and a power off button, on off button for the battery so I can disconnect the battery from the outside. I'm also going to be hooking up the solar panels so we can get those batteries charged up. So, thanks for stopping by to watch. I've drilled holes. Now I'm installing the exterior lighting here. Let's just pop in. This be, should be a handy feature for lighting up with an outside switch before you have to plug things in and so forth in the dark. So I've got the off on switch installed and I tested it and it works good. So it did pop out so I'm going to have to figure out a better way to secure it. Everything's off. So we got uh, the exterior lights hooked up, got a switch installed for the light, and we got a cutoff to the AC, to the actual inverter. The light switch is not affected by the cutoff, so when you flip that switch, you can see the lights come on. So if you're out at night and you want to see to plug something in and so forth and give yourself a little bit of light. You got it now with that switch. And the final step here, and I think we're complete except for hooking up the charge controller and the uh, solar panel. So I've got the power switch turned on and Lori's going to take the drill. Oh, there's an on-off switch on Oh, yeah. That. Victory! See. Today I'm going to be installing this Renogy Wanderer solar charge controller and then hooking the solar panel up to the inverter build. And that'll be the final step of this project. Thanks for watching. Okay, now I have the charge controller installed. Got the wires that go to the battery. You can see the green lights are on. I got the cables that go to the solar panel. Now it's just a matter of hooking up the solar panel. Okay, there's the front of the solar panel. Then on the back, I need to connect these cords. You see the PV light is blinking now, and so the battery is being charged. Now I'll place the solar panel out um, where it can get sunlight. Okay, I've, um, okay, I've hooked the solar panel up just temporarily. Eventually, it'll go on top of the pavilion to charge the inverter. Okay, we'll check the power the battery has and uh, it's not fully charged so I'll come out and check it a little later. We can check the battery over here too. 
and you see that it doesn't have all green bars so I'll come check it again later the Wanderer is the charge controller that came with my solar panel and it's an advanced charge controller for off-grid solar applications and can be used with a 12 volt battery or battery bank has uh, integrates highly efficient PVM charging. PVM stands for pulse width modulation. The Wanderer increases battery life and improves system performance. The controller comes equipped with fully comprehensive self-diagnostics and electronic protection functions to prevent charge from installation mistakes or system faults. It's got a 30 amp charging capacity. It does four, it'll charge four different types of batteries. Sealed, deep cycle sealed, gel, flooded, and lithium batteries. It's got uh, the four stage PVM charging. And those four stages are bulk, boost, float, and equalization. It has built in temperature compensation and correcting the charge and discharging parameters automatically and that helps improve battery lifetime it has protection against reverse current overcharging short circuit and reverse polarity it is a negative ground controller multiple led indicator lights to read charge status and battery information has remote temperature and compensation compatibility, integrated communication port for remote monitoring, and charges over discharged lithium batteries.